Hey guys, my name is Pixie and this is part three of the offer wall tutorial. In this last part, we're going to finish setting up Enhance, then we're going to test the app, make sure that it's working, and then we'll wrap this up and talk about the project file. If you feel like you missed a step, you might want to go back through part one and part two. Otherwise, if you're ready to continue, head back over to the Enhance website. If you accidentally close the tab, you can go back to the home screen where you'll find the app that you were working on in part one. Click on continue, and that should take you back to this page where we left off. Click on tap joy and enter the requirements that we obtained in part two. Remember that we called the placement test placement with no spaces. You of course will use your own placement name if you called it something different and your own SDK key. Remember that you can click on this little question mark icon that will tell you exactly where to get the SDK key on TapJoy if you forgot or you closed out the window. Now the last page gives us three certificate options. We can upload our own certificate, we can skip this step for now and use a test certificate, or we can add a certificate manually. Keep in mind that you don't need a certificate for testing, but you will need to add a certificate if you upload your app to Google Play. We can select the second option for now while you're still playing around with the app. If you're confused about this particular part, I do have a link in the video description to our help page, which might answer a few questions. If you want to change the app version, you can. You can keep the defaults if you want, or you can use an actual name, code, whatever you want to do. When you're finished, go ahead and click on Enhance Now. The enhancement should only take about a minute or two. To test this app, we actually have to install it directly onto our phone. In order to do that, we're going to need to download the enhanced APK onto our computer. Notice that this file has been renamed with the words enhanced. That's actually really convenient so that you don't confuse the two APK files. If you can access your email directly on your phone, then you can actually just email this new file to yourself. So I'm going to open up Gmail and compose a new message from myself to myself. Just make sure that you are attaching the enhanced file. When that's finished, just click on send. Now I can bring this email up on my phone. If you haven't installed an app from Appy Builder without Google Play, it's actually pretty easy. Just hit the save button. You should see that the file is downloading in the top left corner. Click on that download and hit install. The installation should only take about a minute. When the app is finished downloading, you can open it up and take a look at it. Looking good so far, let's go ahead and click on open up offer wall and it opens with no problems, awesome. If you get the notification error message, it could just be that it's taking a little bit longer than usual, just try again in about a minute. If it doesn't show up at all, then you want to go back into Enhance, make sure that you have the correct placement name and the correct SDK key. Also, of course, make sure that your blocks are correct. Now, I went back into TapJoy and set the fix reward to 50, and it actually looks like some of these are set to 50 picks, but not all of them. It looks like the ads that are just a video are set to the fixed amount. And the other ads where you have to actually download the app and do something are each random reward amounts. And they reward a ton of extra picks. So I think I'm gonna go back into TapJoy and keep playing around with these numbers. Let's click on one of these that's just a video, nothing extra. Okay, cool, I got the countdown in the bottom left corner and the amount of picks that I can get from this ad. When it's finished, it says here, I've been rewarded with 50 picks. I have the option of downloading or clicking the X in the top right corner. I'm gonna close this ad. That takes me back to the offer wall. I did wind up clicking on another video. So here's the second video. You can see that it's also worth 50 picks. Let's speed this footage up a bit and get to the end. And it looks like this advertisement video took me to Google Play where I can download the game if I want to. And there is no close button, so maybe if I press the back button on my phone, yep, that worked, okay, cool. I'm back in my app. I'm gonna close the offer wall and the test label shows that I have earned 50 picks two different times, so that's cool, that is exactly what we wanted. Well, that's perfect. Now that we know how to get all three of these websites working together, we can take a closer look at saving this data for a user that is logged into the app. Now I went back into Appy Builder and made a few changes. Screen one is now a very, very simple login screen. As I've said in my previous tutorials, I highly recommend that you create a database either using Fusion Table or SQLite, not Firebase. Firebase is great for simple data like alerts or the wallpaper app, 
Personally, I just think it is the absolute worst option for user data. So naturally, I chose Fusion Table as my database for this project. This is the exact same Fusion Table that we've used for the past like dozen Fusion Table implemented tutorials. And as I've said in those ones, feel free to play around with this Fusion Table. Just don't be surprised if something doesn't work because there are a thousand other people who are also playing around with this database. Meaning, of course, you should use your own Fusion Table data, not mine. The app that you're seeing on the screen right now is free to download from the Appy Builder community. There's a link below in the video description to that download file. I can log in on screen one with any of the usernames and passwords from the Fusion Table tutorial. Let's pick Santa and the password is Claus. Our login is successful and we go straight to the offer wall screen. I didn't really do anything too fancy on this screen. The title bar changes to say, hello Santa, and I can see the amount of points that I currently have. I changed the test label to a list view component. Honestly, you don't need that test label or this list view. It's really just here for an example to take up space. So feel free to delete it or do something different. All right, let's click on the button and open the offer wall. Let's click on one of the ads that requires some instructions. This one says that we have to play the game, complete the tutorial, and then we'll get a reward. Close that out and let's take a look at the built-in menu, which you'll find in the top left corner. Click on reward status and then click on the not rewarded tab. And cool, there's a little memo that we still have to complete the instructions in order to get this reward. I'm not gonna do that right now at this moment because my phone is at maximum capacity and I need to go in there and clean some stuff up before I can actually download some more apps onto my phone. My hypothesis is that once I complete this reward, it should show up here in the rewarded section. I think this menu is just for the advertisements that have instructions and not the ads that are just videos. Let's close this out and I'm going to watch another short video. I won't make you sit through this for 30 seconds. Let's just fast forward the footage. We're at Google Play, so we need to hit the back button on our phone to go back to the offer wall. Let's close this out and see if we got the 50 picks. Awesome. I had 250 before I watched the video and now I have 300. And my list view shows that I've earned 50 picks. So let's check the fusion table and yep, Santa's points have been updated to 300. That is very cool, mission accomplished. All right, let's wrap this up. Remember that I made two different versions of this app. This is the first one that just had a label and a button and didn't save the data. This is the second version the one that you guys will be able to download from Appy Builder. Keep in mind that I had to email myself twice and install this app twice on my phone, but you don't have to upload multiple different versions. I did that just for the tutorial to keep the APK separate. If you need to make more changes in the future, you can just hit re-enhance and upload a new version of the APK. Now, you don't have to enhance the app every time you want to test the app. If you're making visual changes to your app or the design, you can still test the app in Appy Builder, but the offer wall will not show up on the Appy Builder server, obviously because your phone is separate from the Appy Builder server. You can also make changes directly in Tapjoy without having to re-enhance your app. Back at Tapjoy, make sure you have the correct app selected and look, you can see I already have some analytics going on here from when I was playing around with making the video. That's pretty cool. To make changes to the offer wall, click on placements. You can see that our test offer wall is in the test placement. Click on the little arrow and select edit. And then you can go back in there and make changes to your offer wall. I'm definitely gonna keep playing around with this exchange rate. And remember I said that you definitely want to add a frequency so that you don't violate any advertising terms of service. Since this is a tutorial, I'm just gonna cap this out at 25 maximum impressions per user. For you guys, you probably don't want a maximum impression cap but you do want an impression frequency, depending on the type of app that you have. That's gonna just depend on you. Maybe something like five times every day per user. Whatever you wanna do, it's totally up to you. Just keep playing around with it. All right, guys, that was some madness, but great job, we are done. Visit my Patreon page where you can find out more about being part of the Pixie Bomb Squad. Check out the Appy Builder community where you can get help on projects you're currently working on and find more tips and tutorials created by community members. That's all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to thumbs up the video and have a great day. Bye.